Mastering Possessive Pronouns in English, your ultimate guide. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to focus on an incredibly important topic in English grammar, possessive pronouns. With a strong grasp of possessive pronouns, you can make your English more clear, accurate, and expressive. So, let's dive right in. Possessive pronouns are used to show ownership or possession. They tell us who something belongs to. They include words like, mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, and theirs. It's important to note that possessive pronouns are used in the place of a noun. For example, instead of saying, this is John's book, you could say, this is his book, or this book is his. Now that we know what possessive pronouns are, let's talk about how to use them. Remember, we use possessive pronouns to replace a noun. In this context, the noun being replaced is referred to as the antecedent. Here's a tip. Make sure the possessive pronoun you use agrees with the antecedent in number and gender. For example, if the antecedent is singular and male, we use his. If it's plural, we use their or ours, etc. Let's look at some examples. This car is mine, not yours. The responsibility is ours. The decision is his to make. The best way to master possessive pronouns is to practice using them. Let's try some exercises. Exercise 1. Complete the sentences using the correct possessive pronouns. 1. These apples are blank. I. 2. The puppy wagged blank tail. It. 3. The choice should be blank. You. Exercise 2. Identify the possessive pronouns in the following sentences. 1. This hat is hers. 2. The blame is theirs. 3. These chocolates are mine. Take your time with these exercises. Once you feel comfortable, we can review the answers together. That wraps up our lesson on possessive pronouns. Remember, these pronouns are essential for showing ownership and replacing nouns in a sentence, so practice using them often. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, practice makes perfect, so keep practicing and stay tuned for our next video. Happy learning!